Hi, this is Farhan and welcome back to another video. This Ripple lawsuit put forward by the SEC in December of last year, well, it kind of destroyed the hopes for a lot of XRP investors to make some truly amazing gains for this year. But also, uh, fortunately for XRP, now I, some people might disagree on this, but going through this Ripple lawsuit, but going through this lawsuit, XRP, if it does win this case, it would become the first crypto out there to be officially classified as a non-security, which is extremely beneficial to a lot of investors uh, looking out there to invest in the world of crypto. And this is why so many people are really interested in XRP saying, hey, right now the price seems comparatively small to what it might actually become once this Ripple lawsuit is over. And also that depends on the victory for Ripple. But today we have an absolutely bombshell of a news dropped by Ripple. And the first ever major news or major hint that might actually suggest that a victory for Ripple might be in sight. So a lot of really, really interesting details in today's video. And towards the end, we will also be talking about the price predictions or some of the price that we are expecting XRP to reach by the end of this year. And so also why the price is not really increasing, even though we have received an absolutely amazing news today. All of this in today's video. Now let's directly dive in and talk about this bombshell of a news and look at how this might actually present a victory for Ripple in the end. Now to realize this you have to look at the very basic thing here and that is SEC has gone after Ripple saying that hey they have been selling XRP as an illegal security for so many years and this is based on what, uh, what's called a highway test. Now to also understand this you have to realize that the SEC is federally mandated to warn other companies out there that what they are doing is against the law and there are some rules and regulations to follow. Now, for a very long time, Ripple has been arguing on so many things here, but today Ripple presented an absolutely amazing news and this comes directly from the SEC, from the commissioners of the SEC as well. And to also understand this, you have to realize that the SEC commissioners, they cannot talk about a uh, litigation that is currently going on. That's why they cannot comment anything related to Ripple. But today they talked about, uh, in recently they talked about another litigation uh, that has been settled and that is the coin schedule. In that uh, two commissioners from the SEC, they basically came out and said some absolutely crazy things that might, that might help Ripple in actually winning this entire lawsuit. The commissioners uh, Hester Pierce and Roisman, they issued a statement talking about the lack of a regulatory clarity related to digital assets out there. Now, this is an absolutely bombshell of a statement, which I'll be linking in the description box below. You can check it out there. But the lawyers, the Ripple lawyers, they have highlighted the most, most important point. And let's take a look at them. The first one is uh, the only certainty we see is that the people have questions about how to comply with applicable laws and regulations. Second, there is a decided uh, lack of clarity for market participants around the application of the securities laws to digital assets and their trading. Third, although the commission staff has provided some guidance, the large number of factors and the absence weighing cut, cut against the clarity the guidance was intended to offer. And then we have people can study the specifics of token offerings that become the subject of enforcement actions and take clues from particular cases. However, applying those clues to the effects of, of a completely different token offering does not necessarily produce clear answers and this is absolutely crazy and remember this this is coming directly from the SEC commissioners this is not what Ripple is saying this is what the SEC commissioners themselves are saying there are total five commissioners and two of them are saying this and the last one is in short we know the folks have questions and confusions persist in the marketplace it is important that we start providing clear and timely answers this entire thing talks about the the smoking gun which ripple has and that is a lack of fair notice and that is the sec had to be had to warn ripple what they were doing was illegal and they had to do this for many years since 2012 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 and even now in July of this year, the SEC themselves do not have any clarity regarding trading of digital assets. So how could they have expected Ripple to know that XRP was a security? And this is the absolute bombshell that has been dropped today. And in my opinion, like I, I, I thought for a very long time that Ripple had a very strong chance of winning this lawsuit. But I feel like because of what we're seeing here, I think that the possibility of winning has gotten even higher. 
See, to get this kind of information from the SEC commissioners themselves, they could not have been deposed because it would have been very, very hard as uh, Jeremy Hogan, who is also an attorney and also a fellow YouTuber, as he puts it, that it, it would have been almost impossible to get it from them. But the fact that the commissioners themselves have provided these official statements which are available on uh, the SEC website, that is absolutely, I think it's an amazing thing for Ripple. And th this is why they have put it in front of the judge saying, look at these official statements coming from the SEC commissioners themselves regarding the lack of regulatory clarity and that Ripple just they would have not been able to know that XRP was a security and obviously Brad Carlinghouse and Chris Larson, they would, should the case be dismissed personally against them and this is why they have also filed a separate uh, letter in front of the judge as well. So getting this kind of information is absolutely amazing and really crucial for Ripple and the fact that we have gotten this, I think that if there was a chance of settlement, I think people were almost very skeptical saying that, hey, there was just no way we are going to get any kind of settlement now but I feel like getting something like this in front of the judge, it also raises that bar, raises the percentage of getting a settlement with the SEC. While we are talking about the deposition, we have the deposition of William Hinman in a couple of days, in a week or so, and then we are going to get to know more details regarding this ongoing lawsuit. And there was some issues, but thankfully the judge sided in favor of Ripple, and now the SEC and Ripple, they are working together surprisingly on asking uh, narrowing the questions down as they put it today the parties have made significant progress in discussing the issues and objections of privilege that may apply to mr hinman's testimony we have reached an understanding reflecting a compromise by all parties pursuant to which the defendants may examine mr hinman on various issues without triggering a privilege objection from the sec based on our discussions the parties do not currently believe it will be necessary to seek the court's assistance prior to mr hinman's deposition so this will go forward and we'll get to know some details regarding this but that bombshell is still those official statements coming from the two SEC commissioners and that is definitely really really good news well guys that was the video for today do let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what do you think about this bombshell of a news that we have gotten today do you think this is going to put a huge chance of a ripple winning this lawsuit or not do drop a comment below and if you have any suggestions regarding the videos that i should be making in the future also do let me know and if you have not been following me on twitter and facebook i highly suggest you to do that i will be linking those in the description box below and i will pin a comment as well and for those of you who are new to my channel consider subscribing giving this video a like and obviously leave me a comment below and as always uh, thank you for watching this and as always i will see you next time